Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting per usual because we are going to be talking about my favorite beauty products of 2021, baby. This year is coming to a close and I want to share with you the products that I absolutely love this year, used throughout the year, and would die without. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. But before we get to all that, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. Red button says so subscribe, I'm gonna need you to hit it. We have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup, food, fashion, lifestyle, anything you could ever want. And if you enjoyed this particular video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Both of those things would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. Let's get into it. crocheted this cute little top with a matching purse and you can't really see it while I was sitting down so I just had to get up and show you and let you know what the tea is okay okay let's start with something that I did a review of this year and that is the Jaclyn Hill blush collection um Jaclyn Hill cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill beauty whatever it's called but she came out with an entire blush collection this year and I got a couple of um, pieces and I did a review. I'll boop it up here. But I have been using the palette nonstop. This is the Rouge Romance palette and it's like cool tone blushes. And it is just so, so pretty. Like some of the colors look super crazy, but I'm wearing this like hot pink one right now. And it's like bright, but it's not overwhelming. These blushes are really cool because you can like make them super pigmented, super like editorial looking or everyday moment. So I love this palette and I reach for it all the time. Every time I need to do like a cool toned blush, this is what I go for. The It's so pigmented. You don't have to like dig your brush in to try to find some pigment um, and it blends so well. So I am obsessed with this and this was my favorite blush slash blush palette of 2021. A really awesome find that I found during 2021 was the Kylie Kyliner Liquid Liner Moment. Super thin brush, nice pigmented line, dries matte. And the thing I love about this is it's waterproof and I have, um, I talk about this all the time, oily lids, oily skin, and then like during the summer I sweat. So having an eyeliner stay on there and not bleed down is very important. And this sucker is so good. It's only like 14 bucks too, so it's like pretty like affordable. But I did a video comparing old Kylie lip kits to the reformulated Kylie lip kit. And I wore this eyeliner for like 14 hours and I got so many comments being like, what eyeliner is that? Like, who cares about the liquid lipsticks? Like, what is that eyeliner? And it is the Kylie Kyliner. This, it slaps, it slaps, it lasts so long and it's, it's just so good. Easy to work with, 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a new eyeliner. Eyeliner, why did I sound like that? Um, I would definitely recommend this one. A highlighter that I have been obsessed with during 2021 is the Rare Beauty, I don't even know what it's called, Liquid Luminizer, and this is the color Enchant, and it's like a pinky moment, and it just gives the most perfect, I'm wearing it right now, glow, natural glow from within. It, I usually don't like liquid highlighters because they are like so annoying to blend, they get patchy, they pull up your foundation underneath, whatever. But I put this over my foundation, over powder, over bronzer, over blush, and it does not move anything. It is so easy to apply and it just gives such a nice, just wet, dewy, glow from within moment look. Like you can see it for yourself, you know what I mean? Um, it's just super easy to use and the results are, so I can't recommend this product enough. Again, it's the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in shade Enchant. Next product is probably my favorite makeup product of 2020 and 2021. Um, and maybe just my favorite makeup product of all time is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix, Color Fix liquid pigments and these are basically just like paints for your face you can use them on your eyes you can use them on your lips you can use them anywhere on your face and they dry down matte and they are waterproof 
and it's literally just like having a face paint that's high quality high pigment and it's gonna last a long time and I love it so much because I can do you know kind of graphic liner like I have now or just a colored wing or whatever and there are so many different colors and this is like the product of my dreams it really is the fact that it is waterproof is key because to find like cool colored eyeliner a lot of them are gonna be those water activated pot liners and they're really cute really cool but the, th the issue is they're water activated so when I sweat or if you cry or if it rains or whatever the water is gonna activate it on your face and it's gonna run so I love these these are supreme because they dry down and they're not gonna run they're waterproof I'm obsessed with them and I cannot recommend them enough there's a few colors in Sephora but the Danessa Myricks website has so many and I love it this shade is lollipop the one that I used today the last makeup product I have to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you've followed me for a while, you know that this is my freaking jam. It's the best setting spray I've ever used, better than the Milk Hydro Grip, better than Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the like Jesus of setting sprays. It is so freaking nice. It sets your makeup for the longest time. It works great you know, preventing like mask rubbing and like the masks taking off your makeup. It just, I can't, everyone who uses setting spray needs to get this one because it is the best one I've ever used and I've been using setting sprays for seven, eight years at this point and this baby is, this is it. This is, this is the best setting spray I will ever use. Party all night, stay all day is what it says on the container and I cannot agree enough, 10 out of 10. Okay, next product is makeup adjacent, I would say. It is the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Makeup Brush Cleaner. And I have the little like starter kit. It comes with the cleaner and a little cleaning tin. I do not know why it took me so long to find this cleaner. It is the coolest thing and the easiest thing ever to use. Like it is literally magic. You dip your brush in that has like eyeshadow crap all over it, whatever. You rub it on a paper towel and it is brand new. It is like so easy, it's crazy. You don't have to rinse it off, it dries quickly. It is literally insane. You literally dip it, rub it, it's clean, you're good to go. I don't think this is like antibacterial, so it's not gonna get a super deep clean for your brushes, but if you like to use a lot of color on your makeup brushes like I do, you know, you wanna get that green shadow off of it or whatever, this is so easy. Or if maybe you only have a couple of makeup brushes and you use them for like multiple different looks and you just need to clean it off really quickly before you, you know, use it for a different color or whatever, this product is so cool. And I am so sad that I slept on it for so long. Next product is, it's already a ride or die for me and I only got it a couple months ago. It is the Olaplex number no. four P. So it is the purple shampoo they came out with this year. Oh baby, this is the best toning shampoo I have ever tried. Um, and I've tried a lot. My hair, it gets very yellow. I don't know what about it attracts the yellowness, but it really enjoys going on the yellow side. So having a purple toner is like key for me. And this, this is the most pigmented, the most intense, toning shampoo I've ever used. I um, filmed a little before I used it and after I used it for you guys, and you can tell like she does her job. I will warn you, if you leave it on too long, you may have a little bit of purple in your hair for a little bit. You know, it washes out, it's not anything serious, but I don't mind a little purple in my hair. I think it's cute. It's better than yellow in my opinion, so I am obsessed. Like, I can't rave about this enough. If you have blonde hair, you need to get this sucker. My favorite perfume of 20, what year is it? My favorite perfume of 2021 is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I, you know, this has been around for a couple of years or whatever, but this is the first year that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try that. So I got the like travel size during the Sephora VIB sale a couple months ago. I'm like so upset that I slept on this for so long. It is the most sophisticated cherry smell. Cherry with a little bit of spice. It is just so good and I think now that I've tried it and I know that I love it so much, I'm gonna try to save up for the full size jar. It is very, 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 very expensive. <laughs> Since I love it so much, you know, I think it's gonna be worth it. But yeah, Lost Cherry is my favorite scent of 2020. 
one. I want to say 2022, but no, 2021. Okay, and last product, it seems weird to talk about, but you know, if you, it, I made a video last summer, I think, trying to find an aluminum-free deodorant that I loved. I'll bloop it up here. And I tried like five or six in that video. I didn't love any of them. I tried more after that. Native, Tom's, Kosas, Biosense. Like I tried every single aluminum free deodorant brand that you could think of and I just like, meh. None of them were it. None of them were giving. So my friend Sam recommended this primarily pure deodorant to me and I had never heard of it before and you can only buy it online but it's like a clean deodorant brand or whatever and she said the blue tansy primarily pure deodorant slaps so hard it's the best deodorant she's ever used aluminum free and I was like all right you know what I'm gonna give it a try and this moment of silence moment of silence changed my life literally like i have no words for it it not only made me smell nice but it, i feel like it really did help kind of prevent some sweating i sweated a little bit less than normal wearing it and i didn't like smell bad and it lasted and then it's just like everything i wanted in aluminum deodorant to be the blue tansy kind of smells like sweet tarts in my opinion which i like but then when i went to reorder because i ran out the blue tansy was out of stock so i was a little disappointed about that but i went ahead and tried the lavender and i kind of like the lavender a little bit more i feel like it works a little bit better and the lavender scent is so nice it's like spa lavender it's not like fake smelling lavender you know what i mean i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but i love it and it is the best aluminum free deodorant i've ever used and i thought you guys should know the tea if you're on the aluminum free train primarily pure lavender or blue tansy whatever floats your boat deodorant of the gods for real all right guys that is all i have for you today i hope you liked this favorites video um i always like watching favorites video to see what everyone enjoyed and these are my favorite products from this year and some of my all-time favorite products that i will love forever i would recommend all of these products to everyone, to anyone. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And also, I would love to hear y'all's favorites from this year. Any beauty, skincare, makeup, hair care, whatever. I would love to hear your favorites in the comments. And that's all I have for you. So stay on fleek, friends. Bye.